Hi everyone, here's Flav again. And now I wanna talk a little bit about my skincare routine and what I normally recommend to different kinds of skin. So here we have the R9, which is our flagship range. This specific range took three years in the lab testing, reformulating everything in order to be here today, providing us the best results and ingredients on the market. The main botanicals here are stabilized vitamin C, peptides, sibuctorn oil ceramide, brown algae extract, for instance, and stem cells of sustainable oranges. So the target is to clean, tone, and hydrate, right? And then we have treat and some other things in between. So a normal day would be a cleanser, which is a pea size. Remember, the products are very highly concentrated here. The pH is different from whatever you're using from the high street. So there is an adjustment period of time. And we do the morning and evening routine, okay? We have the cleanser. You put a little bit in water, wash your face, and then toner, you just go to spray this on your face and tap it until it dries. And then next one would be, this is a morning routine, okay? It would be the serum, which is water-based, and I absolutely love this product. And then eye cream, we have two kinds of eye cream. This would be for dark circles and bags, and this would be contouring and lifting. So this will give a little boom. So 35 upwards, I would kind of start alternating, and I this is actually what I do, I alternate between these two. This has some caffeine, which will help with the, um, the dark circles and bag. So eye cream, right? So after the eye cream, I would apply the Genius Ultrasound, which I will go all over circular motion for two, three minutes, and then that's it. Afterwards, it's a day cream. I would finish with the day cream. Now, if you have a more mature skin, I would go for the contouring and lifting day cream, okay? It has some SPF. Now, evening time. Evening time, I would be doing a little bit different. Now, a little bit of background on my skin. I used to, I'm almost 40 years young, and I used to have a lot of pigmentation, out of control, very open pores, blackheads on the T-zone, and plus the lines, you know, loss of elasticity, loss of brightness and shine, and hydration actually was a big thing for me. And so after two days of use, I started seeing huge change. Evening time, so then we start treating certain things, right? To keep us young, to stimulate the production of collagen, elastin, to keep the, the turnover, the cellular turnover going well, brightness, fine lines, etc., etc. I would go cleanser and then I would use something special, which is the Arbonne um, resurfacing nightly pads which this is how it comes. I see people committing a lot of mistakes on this stage. So it comes in this little box and then you will have the pads, 60 pads, so 60 and a liquid. Here comes a blend of retinol, phytanol. The phytanol with chicory and alfalfa, it's a patent blend, patent formulation of Arbon. This is a very gentle resurfacing and will promote cellular turnover. It will also work in fine lines. Uh, we work on stimulating the production of collagen, elastin, etc., etc., etc. So if you have pigmentation, open pores, blackheads, fine lines, loss of elasticity, aged hands, aged neck, you can all use that. If you have scars that are very bad, you can apply on the scars. If you have a very flaccid belly or other parts of your body, you could be applying this as well. You pour all the liquid inside at once, you throw this away, close, and then it's ready to use, okay? Now, this is how I do in the evening. If you're looking for, you know, at the beginning, depending on the person, I would say use it every day and then you start giving, uh, you know, every other day of use. You have, in the evening, you wash your face, you get one of these pads and you gotta Wipe it over your face in circular motion. Now, if you have blackheads and pigmentation lines, I would focus where you need more. Also, go behind your ears because we see people aging here and it kind of looks funny, the skin there, if you don't take care of it. Now, neck, decollete, and hands is something that I always notice in women. They are not taking care, they are aging, and it's totally telling anyone the real age. 
So I would apply on my neck, decollete, my hands, and then I would throw into the rubbish. Only the evening, never during the day. Now afterwards, I would come with the ultrasound and I would apply, work everywhere in my face, two, three minutes, everywhere, neck, jawline, decollete, sometimes the hands, or I don't know if you wanna kind of tighten the skin of your belly, tights or arms, I, was also, I would also use that, okay? So then that's done. Then afterwards, I would go to the serum, I would apply the serum, I would choose the night cream of my choice. I alternate between both. And then I would get the night cream. Where's the night cream? night cream and I would apply the ultrasound again okay this is my evening routine next morning it's what I just did now if you want to really target the aging of your skin of your neck and decollete I would also on the top of it at this stage add the neck cream and I would apply the ultrasound you can see amazing results I do recommend you taking a picture of your before and after I have an incredible picture of before and after and I have so many actually so here age group would be 30, 30 upwards. Now, a few exceptions here. Here the vitamin C is very strong. So let's say if you have rosacea or you have a very dry skin or etc. I mean, this will not go for everyone. Uh, some people they will have a reaction, for instance, towards the algae or the vitamin C. And so if you have a more sensitive skin, then I would go to our bone intelligence line. So this is the everyday skincare routine, right? Now I'll show you some of my other favorite ones. Actually, almost everything is my favorite. Right, um, something else from the RE9 advanced range would be the body firming cream, which has all the active ingredients from here, plus caffeine and some other things like olive squaline, for instance, that replenishes the moist barrier at the skin. So here, if you have, I also alternate between these two, okay? So here I'm gonna use more like the daytime, this one, you can apply with the ultrasound all over your body to tighten the skin, to promote and help the production of elastin, collagen, and keep the skin glowing and look, looking healthy and etc. And sometimes in the evening, most of the evenings, I'm gonna wear, I'm gonna use this resurfacing serum lotion, which has alpha hydroxy acid that will also cellular turnover on your skin. I could see in the past, I kind of had some patches in my skin and now it's totally um, even and, and bright and shiny, always hydrated. My skin is never dry ever since I started using. Right, so this too is for body. Now, this one is one of my favorite. I absolutely love the look of this product, which is called Cellular Renewal Mask. And it basically has enzymes of papaya and pineapple, and also alpha hydroxy acid, which will kind of eat the dead cells on your skin and, and promote like a beautiful glow on your skin. The pores will be closed and even. You're gonna look fresh and with a bright skin. Normally do this mask once a week in the evenings before doing my skincare routine. This is only for 10 minutes. All these guys are from the Arbonne Intelligence line. Now, this we talked about it. This is a retinol with phytanol that we use during the evening. This has a creamier, rich feeling to it. I absolutely love, in fact, last night I used this one. You can combine it with the ultrasound as well. Also, you can get a few drops on your face just to nourish your skin. This will have some essential fatty acids to, you know, kind of rebuild the cells and keep the moist and etc. So you could also apply with the ultrasound. And this is something also I sometimes see a lot, women that they're not taking care of their lips and they are all with a lot of lines and dry, which is something that it doesn't happen to me anymore. And I basically use this every single day, in the evening, sometimes in the morning. I apply that and apply the ultrasound on my lips as well. So all of these products you could apply with the ultrasound. The only ones that you wouldn't apply with the ultrasound are the ones with SPF. The SPF you want to sit on the top of your skin, you don't want to push it inside. Now, the products using with, with or without the ultrasound, I personally saw 
a lot more a lot more results on me and everybody else i know combined with the ultrasound because the ultrasound will really increase the performance of the cosmetic now another one that i use that it's normally for younger skin are these ones r9 prep work the r9 advanced prep work which has this is a very the age group would be between 18 up upwards i do combine them on my skincare routine and here has some very interesting things like kakadu plant lingoberry you know stem cells and uh, raspberry stem cells as well and things like caffeine so it has a lot of antioxidants it has some ingredients that will also regulate the you know if you have acne prone skin also will really help i do use and i do recommend latin skin actually would benefit a lot but you know pretty much everyone i know it's using and combining it's more affordable and it's simpler more straightforward so you have four products you have the cleansing and I have a cream that you can use during the day and night and you can could combine with the ultrasound and then you could pop these are just incredible because this has a lot of antioxidants and and um, oils that will give you a sensation of a very like if you have dark circles bags and fine lines it will give you a very fresh look I am absolutely obsessed about them. I have used like four or five up to this point and they have been released just now in April. So love it. Another tip is to keep them into the refrigerator and then you pop them cold and leave there for half an hour or, or you know, before bed or when you wake up before going to work love it and then just to finish you could apply during the day the sunblock soft value with 30 spf also this is so beautiful i love the feeling in the skin after my skincare routine is done which by the way i do use all of these products even the one that it's more for mature skin i i will alternate everything the products do work by the way so when everything is done here i will apply my i think this could be my best after the skincare to go ingredient which is i always pop in my bag and it's always there i use between light and medium i combine both accord according to the season that i am and um, this has you know this is 13 in one and it pretty much has you know pore refiner mattifying blemish control concealer foundation hydration pollution shield protection and everything else in between so it really gives like this photoshopped airbrushed look on your face looking natural and glowy and healthy all together i love it i cannot if you ask me one thing i would take to a, to an island would be definitely this product so i guess this is a skin this is the the skincare now i don't know if i have told you my story but i was seven years ago somewhere that never read any labels and i bought anything from the high street very cheap brands to all the way the most expensive brands and uh, department stores thinking that they would really help me but guess what they didn't and um i was always very you know i come from brazil and we love beauty and we want to look beautiful and etc so we just doesn't matter the price we will pay for it and we go for it this is i've been always like that and the reality was that why i was not reading ingredient labels i was pretty much putting so much toxins in my body without realizing that i was compounding I was compounding into something bigger and larger that would come and came kind of seven years ago when i had adrenal fatigue in my life and i had a lot of problems with like chronic candida I had chronic constipation, I have problems with my skin, I have hyperpigmentation, I mean, you name it, I had everything. I was the queen of the pharmacy. And um, one day I realized that it was something going on. I mean, how could, how was people living in the past? We didn't have all these drugs and all this sickness happening around so surely something was off and that was when i came across a movie actually it was a movie called food matters i if you haven't seen please go and watch and what happened was that i realized that i was making myself sick not knowing i was eating conventional food processed refined foods not knowing plus all these cosmetics all over my face and body every day twice a day for a lifetime obviously i was going to get sick 
Now, what I did seven years ago is that I throwed all those cosmetics away from the supermarkets and department stores. I throwed everything away, I changed everything. And then I went to another very specific spe spectrum, which was the clean, organic cosmetics, sort of news yards, you know, these other brands that are on a high street. And yes, I gained my health back, but I wasn't really happy with the results that it was giving me. Okay, this is my personal experience. Arpon came into my life only less than two years ago. So, you know, I was already highly educated when these guys came along. And I was actually looking for a better quality cosmetics because I wasn't having any results by just putting coconut oil on my face, on my hair. It wasn't really working. And then here, what I realized was that, okay, here there was some technology, but a lot of toxins into the cosmetics, things that are not serving my body and my health and my best interest. And on this side was a bunch of kind of good ingredients put together, but with no technology. So obviously it wasn't deliver delivering um, much on my skin. And especially when you're talking about anti-aging, I was aging and it was no, it wasn't working. When I was here was when Arbonne came into my life, which kind of makes total sense because I got the best of the Swiss technology and technology. Arbonne basically gets the best of the Swiss technology and know-how of doing, you know, very ultra premium, sophisticated and with results driven cosmetics combined with the best of the botanical world. At this time, delivering results. And so after a few days, I started, I started noticing the change on my skin, my hair, and I was like, wow, this is it. And I can tell through, uh, you know, with all the confidence that I have, I use all the products and pretty much it has transformed my life. My hair, my health, my skin, you know, I'm happy now to wear makeup, which something before I wasn't because, you know, there was no performance at the makeup here and I didn't want to use this makeup anymore. And yeah, so this is what I wanted to share with regards to my experience as a consumer of cosmetics and then the other side was that out of that experience that I had, I went into studying nutrition, lifestyle, functional medicine. I lived in place like, I went to Hippocrates Health Institute. I studied at Cornell University, Institute of Functional Medicine. So, you know, I've been on this journey for a long time. If you guys wanna know more about all these environmental toxins in cosmetics, in, you know, things that use totally avoidable, this is, could be a good book for you guys and then if you want to learn more about the cosmetic industry this could be a good one to start also where you see all the ingredients you know like propylene glycol propylene glycol and pegs and you know phytates and sodium lauryl sulfate triclosan animal fat and etc now a little bit of education from a coach perspective because I st i'm still coaching a lot of people into this journey have you ever heard about rendering plants rendering plants so google that rendering plants in cosmetics is basically a bunch of dead carcasses of a lot of animals from dead, dead dogs to dead rats and everything else in between a lot of them sick by the way thrown into a kind of dishwasher with the chemical stuff and then you obviously you gotta separate the fat with the bones and then you gotta you gotta get that fat and pretty much put everywhere on the cosmetics so imagine that you're putting all that those hormones and and gmo grains that some of them they have eaten and all the diseases and stuff it's on this fat and you go and you spread all over your face not knowing and obviously as you might imagine the results of this and long term the compounding effect of it it's not a good one so that's one random implants please google that now another thing that maybe it sounds very fancy but it's actually not and it's everywhere out there it's mineral oil or petrolatum which is a byproduct of the petroleum industry that somehow the car industry does not need and they decided to sell for peanuts to the cosmetic industry so they can use to fill up the cosmetics so we can spread them everywhere and this what it does to us is that as you might know the skin is the largest organ that we have and it does breathe but once we apply mineral oil it kind of blocks all the pores and it's kind of like it's like you have applied a clean film all over you where your body cannot detox or anything oh, and obviously this builds up so a lot of people with problems with uh, makeup for instance one of the first things i tell them is to remove 
the petroleum makeup that they buy from you know Harris and Harvey Nichols or whatever because they think it's good it has a very good branding but in reality the ingredients are very poor so once we remove all these bad cosmetics we put some good cosmetics on the top of the skin and we kind of heal the gut voila the acne is over i can talk more about that at the 30 days to health living program and so mineral oil is everywhere from baby johnson to vaseline you name it just read turn the bottle and read go to your bathroom and it's there it's everywhere now shampoo for instance shampoo um one problem that i had in the past when i was in this group over here is that my hair was even though it had no sodium la rue sulfate from this group i still my hair didn't have much health there now these guys i have to say that i absolutely love i use two kind of chemicals i dye my hair and sometimes i do brazilian blow dry so you imagine that i would need a little bit more of quality cosmetics to kind of you know make my hair look shiny and health and give the building blocks of a healthy hair which guess what you have things like a proline which is a building block of the hair and vitamins and minerals and a lot of nice combinations of oil so i highly recommend this set of this set of shampoo and conditioner for those who have got highlights or they do you know other sort of chemical something that happened to me in the past was also that i overdid with some of my hair treatments and my hair became very elastic and it had a lot of split ends and then i started using this mask and um, after a while my hair was totally reconstructed super healthy and basically no split ends up to this point also i use this serum which you can see it's kind of finishing this is my second one and i use pretty much every day with my hair wet or dry i'm applying some i basically you have to kind of activate the oil make it you know kind of heat it up and then apply all over only half head down now these ones the texture is kind of thick as well so you want to the shampoo you kind of you have to kind of activate with water and put a lot of water but you gotta have a lot of foam there you don't need to use much it's highly concentrated my hair mask here is kind of a it's kind of a uh, you know a tablespoon of this hair mask that i use and that's it that's enough for my hair and it's super healthy i do it once a week and i absolutely love i cannot live without it now if you're on a search or if you're looking highly intoxicated and you don't like your your smell or you are tired you're having problems with fertility or you are you know all the list of symptoms from the 30 days to health living beyond i would say normally i say start changing these two guys the deodorant which everybody's kind of using deodorant with aluminium which i don't know about you but i wouldn't like to have aluminium under my arms that it will go to my breast and will increase my chance of having breast cancer by 20 percent so if you're not happy with your smell i'll tell you my personal experience with smell once upon a time i used to use deodorant with a lot of aluminium because guess what i was smelling here and there and so once i started changing my life what happened was that the the cleaner i became the less smell i had and now at this stage of my life what i notice is that if i eat something that doesn't work for me you start listening to your body in a whole different level i have to say so the process is be patient with your cleaning process because it maybe took you 30 40 years to get all this dirt inside you so don't expect the dirt to go out in a week or in 30 days it will not happen and so i would say start using this maybe here and there you're gonna start feeling the smell it will pop out just go to the sink wash your arm again and apply the deodorant again now this will compound into something that you you'll notice that they, your smell under your arms, your mouth, your pee and poo will change, okay? I tell you by my own experience, I have seen this and I have lived this way, and I actually do, is that our, ch our smell is a consequence of how toxic we actually are inside us so just be patient clean out your you know your bathroom and your life and you start seeing the change in the smell now where i am now on this stage after seven or eight, eight years of my life living a clean life is that if i'm eating like too much cooked food or something that i shouldn't be eating something will pop the smell will change 
So obviously now I understand my body better. For you to get to this stage, it's a journey, okay? It's the compounding effect of investing in your life for a number of years. But I'll give you the good news, it's so worth it. Now, toothpaste. It drives me crazy what's on toothpaste, the high street. Now, basically what you could find in the toothpaste on a high street is things like sodium lauryl sulfate, which is a car wash, it's detergent to wash your car. So I don't know about you, but I don't think I would like to put this on my body, on my mouth and my hair, because it's pretty much everywhere. Again, it's cheap material, guys, so it does make sense, okay? Don't go crazy. You know, the things that we don't know what we don't know. So I'm just sharing information, then you gotta do whatever you feel like doing. Something else that I don't like that is in toothpaste, it's fluoride. So fluoride may be very good for your teeth, but it's very good for your thyroid in your pineal gland. So I would say remove it. And something else that is interesting here that you'll find on a high street, it's something called triclosan, which is a hormonal disruptor. So it's pretty much linked to cancer and some other things and in the US is actually considered to be a pesticide. So I have no idea what it's doing inside the toothpaste. Something else that you would like on body wash is sodium lauryl sulfate, which is car detergent again, filled with mineral oil and some other stuff that are not serving your body. So I absolutely love the smell of the shea butter. The shea, the shea butter, uh, the collection comes with the body wash, the body lotion, the hand cream, and the lip balm, which I am absolutely obsessed about it. The hand cream is always in my bag. And they they come from, they are sustainably harvested in Africa. And actually there is a co-op that we take, we, you know, obviously we pay these women fair amount of money to harvest the shea butter. Now, something on the personal side that I have to say that I love, and I've been an advocate for that for many years prior to Arbonne, is the responsibility that we consumers and and actually companies should have when doing the sourcing of the raw material. Now, one thing that really, you know, it blows my mind that I love about Arbonne is that the Arbonne really takes care of every single process from the seed to the end product. Everything is tested, everything is high quality, just to not compromise the quality of the product. But also we are taking care of the environment. As you know, Arbonne never tested on animals for 40 years. So when people were smoking airplanes, actually Peter Mark was talking about being sustainable and being green and never testing on animals and and stuff you know things that people now for the last 10 years are talking about so that's this so um another line that i love that i find very luxurious and you know it's just just i love the feeling is that this detox mask so the line it's called rescue and renew and it's based on the holistic approach and on the ayurvedic medicine and it has a very interesting technology the oil pulling technology which will with withdraw toxins out of our skin like you know when you do for instance oil pulling that you get coconut oil in your mouth and you get the bacteria out it's kind of the same ancient technology from the Ayurvedic medicine. Now we have body lotion, which I love. The key ingredients here are turmeric extract, ginger extract. We also have rosemary and a bunch of very nice essential oils such as turmeric, rosemary, fennel, juniper. Now, so we have the body wash, body lotion. Okay, we have the gel. So the gel I would I would use like for instance for muscle pain, if you got burnt on the sun or mosquito bites or something that it has irritated your skin or you burn yourself cooking, this would be an amazing product. Love it, love it, love it. Now I obviously love this the bath soak. The oil, this oil I would use like after bath or doing massage. So if you're going, if you have massage drainage or any other kind of massage, I would totally use this oil. And if you do, maybe, I don't know, maybe you want to do like a homemade scrub also, I would totally use that. Now this scrub, it's so far the best scrub I have ever, ever, ever tried ever in my life. And it has rosemary and passion fruit extract and it's just smells so fantastic now one thing that i always recommend to go together with the skincare is this detox mask the detox mask has basically five neutralizing acids such as mandelic acid as a lake acid uh, phytic acid and some other ones that will work 
the basically the results would be like it will refine the pores it will actually remove the excess sebum out of the pores uh, will brighten up your skin I this is so clear my skin because I have the pigmentation the open pores and blackheads it has completely changed my life I do this once or twice a week so if you're if you're with these problems at the beginning just do twice and then you kind of do the maintenance once a week but do it now baby care it's something that uh, once I started educating myself uh, about the cosmetic industry I realized that sunblock is something so bad people are actually putting petroleum all over their faces and putting pretty much carcinogenic ingredients and then going there and stay in the sun which is so bad again I have changed my sunblock many years ago thank God one thing that I'm taking to Jamaica now is this one so it's for babies but we adults can totally use that and um, also we have the nappy cream which is not here the nappy cream would be for let's say your child has you know eczema sporosis and skin problems rash and etc i would totally apply that cream on it we have amazing amazing results also and a lot of mummies they you know we have a lot of testimonial and pictures before and afters and etc after a few days this can be you know it really does help and also also we have the body lotion and a hair and body wash this is all for babies okay again if you're not reading the ingredients out there most likely you are using things that are more like harming your baby than helping your baby now essential oils for me it's big for a lot of reasons I use essential oils on a diffuser I use essential oils on my laundry, washing the dishes, cleaning the floor, spraying the house. I do a lot of aromatherapy as well. So it has multiple uses. You can Google how to use those. These are two limited editions, but we have, you know, lavender, peppermint, lemon, tea tree, which is very antibacterial as well. You can actually put it in your bag and take it everywhere if you're traveling a lot. And yeah, very high quality. You only need a few drops and sometimes you can put for instance tea tree in your shampoo or if you're having skin problems maybe I would put it in a body lotion etc as well also obviously after Arbon before I didn't kind of use makeup and then I went into using makeup but I will leave this for another time but the makeup it's very high performance obviously free from mineral oil from all the nasties outside all the dyes are actually natural extracts from nature nothing synthetic or artificial which normally you find in eyeshadow and stuff and the, so the makeup line is also fantastic amazing highly recommend but it will be for a next video